Well, good afternoon, everyone. This is Ascended Twin, 144K. I'm here to do your general collective energy read for all signs. Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, South Node, and Stellium. This is not going to resonate for all signs, but it will for some. Time is fluid, so this could be past, present, or future energies. The energies can be reversed. The roles can be reversed. This could be you or your person, you versus them. Same-sex relationships as well as divine counterparts. Family, anytime you were guided to my channels and you clicked on my videos, it was time for you to receive a message. If for whatever reasons the messages do not resonate, come back at a later date. Maybe I'll have something that will or check your moon and your rising. If they still don't resonate and you know this is someone else's story, send them here so they can receive the messages. Thank you to each and every last one of you who has continued to subscribe to the channel. Old and new, thank you so much and God bless you for sharing your journeys with me. Also, thank you to everyone who has donated to the channel. God bless you because it also allows me to buy more materials to help with the teaching and the healing for all that come. So let's go ahead and get started, fam. Somebody here is feeling stuck and trapped in a situation. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could be stuck and trapped in another marriage, another relationship, a commitment that they don't want to be in. Somebody here doesn't know how to come towards you, possibly, to reconcile for some of you. But whatever somebody is dealing with, the Grim Reaper is here. That Scorpio energy, there are, the relationship is over. There are no second chances. Grow and transform your life. The split spill is here. Somebody here is leaving uh, quickly, decisively. The relationship is devolving or ending, not keeping in touch. Somebody is about to be spending time alone. Somebody is about to get to know themselves. First card out. Strongest energy. You got somebody here that's a little flighty, unstable, and inconsistent in love. You could be dealing with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody here sees you as beautiful, handsome, take charge type of person know what you want you go after it but this is the queen of wands the witchiest queen in the deck in the deck so some of you are highly spiritual very gifted some of you may even own black cats and somebody here wants to come in and offer you some some love or either you're taking passionate action towards a soulmate or a soulmate is wanting to take passionate action towards you Somebody that sees you that gets a lot of attention or either, let's see, yeah, somebody sees you getting a lot of attention, spirit saying this is the truth, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, what else can you tell me here, Holy Spirit, for all signs, what is the energy for my all signs collective, Holy Spirit, give me some messages for all signs, Holy Spirit. Yeah, there's a soulmate that's currently in the Ten of Pentacles. They could be already in a marriage, a commitment, a relationship. And this person is only going to be here for a short time, not a long time. So somebody here that may offer you um, the Ten of Pentacles, they're not going to be consistent. They're not going to be stable. Some of you, this person could have already moved, relocate to another uh, city, country, or state. For some of you, you're moving and relocating at this present time. You may have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in your chart, or that could just be the energy that you're in. What else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, there could be someone that's already um, married or committed to a Queen of Wands, a um, Taurus energy. Someone here may have gotten betrayed that was in a commitment. Someone here could have already been committed to a Queen of Wands in a marriage, a commitment, a relationship. Ten of Pentacles, they saw some type of stability here, something long-term, but somebody here has been betrayed. Ten of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So we have two tens on the board, so there's a completion of a major cycle. Some of you could be seeing ten ten. You could have been betrayed by a soulmate or a soulmate could have betrayed you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, somebody you could have been waiting on, waiting for your ships to come in with this person, someone here that you could have been wanting to renew things with, or someone here saw you as their ultimate wish fulfillment, someone here that kept you waiting because this person was cold, disconnected, nonchalant, emotionally unavailable, 
somebody here that you may have ended it with. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio energy. Some of you specifically have Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo rising in your chart. This is also a North Node and a South Node transit. Give me some more energy for all signs, Holy Spirit. What's going on for all signs here in my collective? Yeah, you ended it with somebody that was cold, emotionally unavailable, and detached. This was unrequited love because somebody was already committed to someone else. All this person was was wanted to get some attention. This is an attention seeker. Yeah, somebody here that had a choice to make between you and another person. You could have been dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or this is how they saw you. Someone that kept them waiting. This could have caused some blockages, obstacles, delays, setbacks. Somebody here could also be waiting on the outcome of a baby. Somebody going to need a Dana test because somebody here was reckless and foolish. You could be dealing with an Aries, doesn't have to be, or Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Somebody here also sees you as sudden wealth. Some of you are becoming spiritual healers teachers and leaders and they know that you are highly intuitive very gifted very psychic they know they can't really get a whole lot past you so um somebody here also sees you as sudden wealth some of you could be receiving sudden wealth for doing the work for doing the healing work I have 1111. Somebody here needs to release some guilt in a situation. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. So a lot of you have been following your spiritual journey, your soul contract, your soul purpose, your soul mission, and it is bringing you victory. Okay. And I'm, I'm so I'm getting multiple messages, guys. Only take what resonates as your story. Somebody here feels good when they can help others. So a lot of you could work in a field where you do a lot of helping, a lot of healing, and that brings in a lot of healing energy to other people. And somebody here is waiting to take a leap of faith with some of you. There's some passionate level of action or communication that's due to come in, but somebody here has a lot of fears, a lot of worries, a lot of anxieties. They're having a lot of sleepless nights. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody here has fears and insecurities because they have a choice to make between you and another lover. Gemini energy. Someone that may have ghosted you in the past or you may have ghosted them, gone within to gain inner wisdom, clarity, and guidance. As well, look at your divine masculine. There ye are. Or she is. Male or female, divine masculine. Somebody is hiding secrets here. What are we hiding? Somebody is hiding that they've gone through a tower moment or they're about to. Woo, baby, somebody here, if they don't get their shit together, somebody here is about to die. And I'm not talking about lit figurative death. I mean, somebody here is about to die. That is death. And this is somebody's karma. Spirit tried to get this person to see something from a higher perspective. Pisces, Cancer, Energy. We have somebody here that's toxic. So someone here could have contracted a sexually transmitted disease and this will be their karma. And this will have, be how they die. Somebody here could be a carrier. Someone here has herpes or um, possibly human papilloma virus. For some of you, that's not going to resonate for everyone. So only take what resonates. Somebody here had a lot of fears and insecurity and that made them very codependent and toxic in a relationship. Somebody here is definitely burning when they pee. So this is a man for some of you. So <clears throat> somebody here could definitely um, miss the boat on this one. Because somebody here, if they don't get their shit together, somebody is going to die. And they're going to die a very violent or very painful death. Capricorn, Aries, Scorpio, energy. And this is their fate. Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, energy. Pisces, Cancer. Somebody here may, have be, may be at a distance from you. Mentally, physically, emotionally, you could be dealing with a cancer that could be divinely guided to come in. But this person has a lot of regrets. Somebody regrets putting someone in a third party situation. Somebody here fails to see that there are two good cups standing. Somebody ran when it got hard. Somebody was a track star. They run when it gets hard. 
So somebody here said, oh, this is struggle, love. I can't do that. So some of you, your finances may have not been in place when you met this person. This person didn't see you as their ultimate wish fulfillment. They didn't see you as financially stable, abundant, or find you attractive. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It was something that they did not find that you were their equal in. So they rejected you and you were God's gift. This person had multiple options. Three may not have been the only amount of options that they had. So tell me about the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here for all signs? My all signs collective Holy Spirit. Because somebody was so inconsistent and unstable in love, paradise is now lost. Somebody here that you could have had happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Not so much. What else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, somebody is going through a tower moment. There's a shocking change, sudden epiphany, surprising um, news here, upheaval. Somebody here is healing from heartbreaks, toxic addictions, relationships, freeing themselves. Somebody here may have had some serious sexual addictions. Insane chemistry. They like you liked each other. You equally had fun together. But somebody here was sleeping with other people. I can feel it. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here for all signs, Holy Spirit? Yeah, somebody was dealing with somebody that had multiple keys on a ring, and you probably told them to. I know you're sleeping with other people, but you definitely got truth and clarity that this person had many options, decisions, unconventional string along, one night stands. They treated you like an option, and this was a soulmate to you. Someone that you had a soul connection with, a partnership, an agreement, a soul contract. Right there. Tell me about the Two of Cups. For my All Signs Collective Holy Spirit, somebody here is in a challenging position. They reminisce a lot about you. You have They have keepsakes or you have keepsakes to theirs. It gives them a certain perception and it makes this person start to learn some things from the past. They want to make memories with you. You could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Didn't I tell you somebody got addictions? Mm-hmm. They are bound and chained to their addiction, so they are toxic as hell like the devil. This is the devil card here for me. Codependent, obsessive, possessive, controlling. They have a block and it causes restraints. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles for all signs here, Holy Spirit, for my collective. Yeah, a lot of you are in separation from your soulmate. Due to the fact that they're already in another commitment, they could have chose someone else over you. Some of you, this person could have already been married for some of you specifically, and this is not going to resonate for everybody. Some of you, this person was already married or already in a long-term committed relationship when you met them. Not only did they lie to you about being married, not only did they betray you by lying to you, they got out of a marriage, ended another commitment or a relationship only to get into another relationship right under your damn nose. So now this person is in a situation where they stabbed you in the back, collective, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack, Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning for you, but unsure because they're already committed somewhere else. Somebody here is tied up in some type of relationship where they have business contracts. Somebody here is challenged to release some outdated thinking in a marriage, a commitment, a relationship. This is also a spiritual lesson here. Whatever they are in currently, it's outdated thinking. They're conditioning. They keep replaying events over and over in their head. And what they're coming up with is it's not enough. Some of you already said this. It's not enough. You were frustrated in the relationship because it lacked confidence. There was also some level of self-sabotage. If it wasn't you, it was your person that was doing it. They had fear and ego issues. They listened to their egos. They listened to their fears. And there was a lot of jealousy here too. Tell me about the Ten of Swords for all signs for my collective Holy Spirit. Why is it here? There it is. You were dealing with an empath narcissist paradigm. Girl with a snake, guy with a snake. You were being charmed and used. Somebody here enabled the other 
and somebody here had to learn to establish boundaries. You had a lot of unconditional love for this person. You were hoping to get and receive as much as you were giving, and it was a one-sided situation. You fell in love with this person only to realize that this person was cold, detached, nonchalant, emotionally unavailable. Tell me about the King of Swords, Holy Spirit. Why is he here for all signs? Yeah, somebody here needs to do some self-worth, self-indulgence. Focus on their self, their shadow work, time to heal, self-appreciation. This person wants to reach out and call you. They love you. They miss you. Somebody wants to express a message of love. They're thinking of you and they want to let you know. Tell me about the Six of Wands for all signs here, Holy Spirit, for my collective. Why is the Six of Wands here? Yeah, somebody here sees you're getting a lot of attention. Somebody here wants to meet up with you, converse and savor the moment. It makes them feel uplifted. This person wants your damn energy. They're an absolute damn snake. You were dealing with somebody that was competitive. They were an enemy, a hidden enemy, malicious, clever, look over your shoulder. And they always kept another dude or another chick on the side. Believe that. Somebody here you could not trust. If you go to Starbucks, tell them to get you the medicine ball. That thing is out of this world. That's my shit, Nick. Mm. Tell me about the two of wands. Some of you had a choice to make. There was a lot of unconditional love that you gave this person, giving and receiving, falling in love. You were hoping that this person would give you a lot as much love as you were giving them, but all they did was seduce you into a third party situation. This person is weak. They're weak willed and they're weak minded. I said it. Yes. Somebody here, there's a lot of attraction, flirting, dating. They hook up. There's temptation, third party interference. I feel like for some of you, somebody here did this at their job. So they were sleeping around with people at their work, any place, anytime, anywhere. Yeah, somebody here, you may no longer be stalking, spying, and watching them. They may no longer be stalking and spying on you. You could have blocked this person from off of your social media page. Somebody here that was creating blockages in your life, they were watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, and they had a certain perception about you. Instead of going within, they kept looking at you on the outside, never going on in this inside. And... For some of you, this is a person that was a karmic relationship. This relationship was never in place to be a long-term committed relationship. It was fleeting. It had triggers. There was turmoil, resentment. There were lessons that needed to be learned here to let go and start loving yourself. And if this was not you, then this is your person that is in a karmic relationship and they need to heal. Tell me about... The healing heart in the upright, the lightning in the upright, paradise lost in the reverse, and the knight of cups in the upright for all signs for my collective Holy Spirit. A lot of you realize that the person that you invested in, they were inconsistent, flighty, and unstable. So you tried to see if they were the one to spend time together, make the effort, get to know them. Emotional investment in this person still stepped off. They weren't here for a long time. This person's a liar. They're a scammer. They're a fake. And they could be watching you from a fake profile too. Do a background check the next time out, family. Not genuinely interested. This person is not who you think they are. Tell me about the sword and the rose, keys on a ring, and the queen of wands. Why is this here for my all signs? <clears throat> for my collective Holy Spirit? Yeah, relational abuse. So you dealt with somebody here that created relational abuse in your life. Notice the red flags that may be emotional, physical, sexual, financial in nature. So some of you could have gotten used like this by this person. Ask for help in a situation. What you dealt with was an escape artist, somebody that you couldn't trust. This is a damn runner. May sabotage in to avoid hurt. They run when it gets real. This is your track star. They run when it gets hard. They, um, they're afraid to be loved. They're still looking. Don't run, don't run when it gets real. Tell me about the camera and the two of cups for my all signs collective. Holy spirit. Yeah. Spirit wants you to go within, pray, meditate, center, and listen to your intuition. Find inner peace and balance alone or with a partner. Somebody is watching you do all of these things and ground yourself and become whole within you. This person here, your soulmate has self-worth issues. 
and they could have tried to foster this on you. Some of them may even be trying to do some of the meditational work to try to heal and balance themselves as well. <clears throat> Throat chakra energy. Somebody is having a hard time speaking their truth. Know your worth. The universe can only bring you what you know you deserve and you can have it all collective. Tell me about the separations and the Ten of Pentacles for my all signs collective. Somebody here that's in separation, you're in separation with. It's time for them to recondition their subcon subconscious mind to change their life. Subliminals rewrite your belief situation. So this person needs to rewrite and reprogram their mind. 21 days breaks a habit. 30 to 31 days will change your life. This past person carries a lot of baggage. Your past, your past person is not letting go. They're hanging on. Excuse me. Not only to you, but past hurts and issues. Identify and heal the patterns that impact relationships. Tell me about the Hierophant and the Cassette. Why is this here for my All Signs Collective Holy Spirit? Trust issues. This person keeps replaying old events. This person lives in the past. You need to ascertain if trust issues are justified or unjustified. Collective, if this fits you, take it where you need it. Trust is imperative to feeling safe and secure. So somebody feels they need to justify something. Somebody here is looking for the real deal and you're about to get it. They see your light. They know you're a total keeper. You're genuine, compatible, authentic, and you are a healthy, good choice. Tell me about the ten of swords and the girl or the guy with the snake. Physical intimacy issues. The topic is up for discussion. Choose healthy, balanced relationships. Do it for the right reasons. Your person needs to learn to do things for the right reasons and not just go into relationships just dating and screwing. Somebody here is will are and will likely to be dating. They like each other's company. You enjoy each other's company. You see each other. So somebody here that you dealt with, they could already be dating other people. Some of you may be out here dating other people, but please be make, make sure you've done enough healing work so you don't bring in another one of these. Somebody that's going to keep you in circulation and somebody that is going to treat you with no respect tell me about the self-indulgence and the king of swords why is this here for my all signs collective holy spirit yeah it's time for you guys um it's time for somebody here to end something and rewrite their life story and their life um their love story as well to me rewrite your story how you would like it to be then release it feel peace now with sleep subliminals. So somebody here needs to go to sleep to reprogram their subconscious mind. It's toxic. It's unhealthy. It's time for you to get a magical mindset. Everything is divine. Know that you are a creator of your reality. You co-manifest with the universe. Tell me about the coffee cup and the six of wands for my all signs collective. Why is this here? Somebody here that was operating out of pride and ego wants to sit down and have coffee with you. They miss you. They miss your friendship. They also miss your energy collective. Somebody here has fear. Abandonment issues are affecting the relationship. They ghosted you or either you ghosted them. So forgive, especially starting with yourself. You want something that's exclusive. Some of you could have been dealing with someone that was already in an exclusive relationship, but they also saw you collective as exclusive material girlfriend boyfriend commitment possible marriage material or life partner not dating each other so someone tried to hold you with a lie but they wanted to offer you some type of commitment but this person has issues with commitment tell me about the kisses and the choices here excuse any background noise that you hear for all signs for my collective holy spirit tell me about the two of wands here yeah, somebody here is going to try to come back to you, but this person has money issues collective. Make sure you're aware of this. Somebody here could be fighting over finances, heal their root chakra, lack of trust, fear, and safety, security, survival. So someone who chose someone over you, now they're having money issues. Now they want to come back your way. They're, they may have also gotten back together with this person that they're fighting over money with. Some of you... It could be you as well. Reunited chances of getting back together are back together. Things are going well, but this is not going to last. Somebody here 
you need to communicate and not attack your person. Address concerns without attacking your person. Communication is the issue. You need to have a healthy, loving dialogue. Tell me about the sunglasses and the seven of pentacles for all signs, my collective. Yeah, you're dealing with someone that's an escape artist. And they're trying to block you, too, from having anything. May sabotage or end to avoid hurt. Afraid to be loved. Still looking. That grass is greener on the other side type individual. Don't run when it gets real. I can't make it up. Look at this. I just got it out my mouth. I couldn't even get it out my mouth fast enough. And this was at the bottom of the deck. Somebody here loves your energy. And they see your, you have great personality traits. Oh, my goodness. This person is a piece of work, y'all. Tell me about the investment, the healing heart, the lightning in the upright, the paradise lost in the reverse, and the knight of cups. Why is this all here? And what does this mean for my collective Holy Spirit? For all signs? Somebody here, you may have moved from... You could be at a distance from this person. You could be dealing with a Cancerian specific, specifically. Some of you were divinely guided. This person is getting karma. Leave their asses alone. They could be in a situation where they could also be moving towards a Libra for some of you. Somebody that's very inconsistent, very unstable, very flighty in love. This is your divine masculine, male or female. Somebody here that has a choice between you and another person. Let's go. Tell me about the relational abuse here. The sword and the rose, keys on a ring and the upright and the queen of wands. Why is all of this here? For my collective all signs, Holy Spirit. We have somebody here that was very inconsistent, very unflighty, unstable in love. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person kept secrets. They hid a lot of shit from you. Pisces, Cancer. And this person also has fears and insecurities. They think you know because a lot of you are intuitive. And they know that you call judgment or either this angel called judgment. Judgment. Somebody here is going through some type of karmic judgment, some type of legal judgment. Leave them alone. Tell me about the meditation, the camera, and the two of cups for my collective all signs. Why is this here and what does this mean for them? Holy Spirit. Somebody here is challenged to become single. Somebody here could also be challenged to uh, get their finances together, to become a pre-empress, pre-emperor energy. Someone here is still in heartbreak, third-party situation. Someone here is moving forward from a bad situation to calmer waters. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody is leaving an imbalanced situation. Somebody also got a big payout here too. Someone here could owe the feds is what I heard. So somebody here could owe the IRS. Somebody here has back taxes or uh, tax fraud. Somebody here could also owe back child support. Tell me about the subconscious and the separation and the Ten of Pentacles from my collective all signs, Holy Spirit. Yeah, your divine masculine is already in another committed relationship. Somebody here has been hurt. Aries, Taurus energy because of the options that they chose. This person could, could be confused. They're having illusions and this person is receiving karma. This is what they asked for. They got it. And guess what? They got burdens. Leave them alone. Tell me about the trust issues in the cassette. And the Hierophant for my collective, all signs. Why is this here and what does this mean for my collective? Yeah, somebody here is already in a commitment. Some of you could be spending time with your family. If this isn't you, then this is your person. But a lot of you are focusing on healing your trust issues. You may have some lingering trust issues, but you got new love coming in. Here you are as the Empress with new love, male or female. Some of you need to release some outdated thinking. Your person is spying on you. They're stalking. They're watching you. This person has got some narcissistic behavior patterns. You're dealing with a narcissist. And a lot of you are working towards becoming a spiritual healer, teacher. Some of you could have gone back to school. Some of you here um, may be in a same-sex relationship as well. But you have someone here that is watching you. Tell me about the girl with the snake, the ten of swords, the emotional intimacy for my collective all signs. When 
the Ten of Swords, they betrayed you. You ended it for some of you. There was an ending. Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo energy. Yeah, you gained truth and clarity about who you were dealing with. You were dealing with a narcissist that created a one-sided uh, love bombing situation. So it was an imbalance. You move forward from a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Spirit is blocking and delaying this person because they need to see something from a higher perspective. A lot of them are stuck in a situation with a queen of wands. I told you, for some of you, you there's two fire signs here. Two fire sign women or two fire sign men that are um, in a, a relationship with two. You could have been a fire sign in this situation and your person could be stuck in a situation with a fire sign. Tell me about the self-indulgence and the king of swords. Somebody here was cold, emotionally unavailable, and disconnected from their feelings. But this person here now is heartbroken. They have regrets. Five of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for being selfish, a liar, a deceiver, a Decepticon, someone that stole time, money, love, and energy from you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, tell me about the Coffee Cup, the Six of Wands, and the abandoned issues from my collective, All Signs. Yeah, you dealt with a player, somebody that abandoned you, and there's, here's, look at your equal. For some of you, here's your person right here. Yeah, this person was a player. They were good at hiding their emotions, their feelings. That was that mask that they were wearing. They were not showing their true emotions towards you. Somebody here may have um, Saturn and Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And this person is selfish, greedy, and overindulgent, and they're about to receive their karma. Somebody here has a lot of passion and a lot of love for you, but this person could have also ghosted you and retreated from you because this person was greedy, selfish, overindulgent. Somebody here could have drunk a lot, smoked a lot. This person likes to party a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. This person is always on the party scene. This person also hosts private parties, parties that you would never attend, Collective. For some of you, not all of you. But this person here is overindulging in their lifestyle. They have a lifestyle that you would not accept. And this is why they ghosted you because they know you would not accept their lifestyle. They wanted to have their cake and eat it too. So this is why they kept you waiting. Tell me about the kisses, the two of wands, money issues, and back together. Who is this for my collective all signs, Holy Spirit? Yeah, high priestess energy. They know you're highly intuitive. Some of you are.